Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week. Today, we are going to learn about the heavenly things, but we are going to focus our study on the planet where we live. Do you know the name of your planet? You are correct! The planet where we live is the planet Earth. This is the planet that we live in. What do you call your planet? Yes, it's planet Earth. Earth. Now let's take a look at this one. The planet Earth is the third planet from the solar system. You know the solar system? The solar system has the sun at its center and it is being surrounded by different other planets that go around it for different period of time. Else, this is the only planet with life. Meaning, in other planets, it is not proven yet that there are living beings only in the planet Earth. And kids, I want you to appreciate how God placed us in the planet Earth. Imagine if you would go nearer to the sun if, if we are in the planet Mercury or in Venus, that is the first and the second planets, we would definitely die because planets nearer to the sun are very hot. And planets after the Earth and the next other planets far from the Sun are very cold planets. That's why they could not sustain life. Only in the planet Earth, living beings can live. Wow! And God is so good that He placed us in the right planet. Now, let us discover more about the planet Earth. The planet Earth is made up of 29% land, meaning this whole thing that you could see. This is just a picture, children. This whole thing that you can see with lots of blue and with this brown and green things there, those little brown and green things are land. And most of it is made up of what? Yeah, it's made up of 71% water. Wow, more water than Earth. Now, let's see what are in the planet Earth. The planet Earth has people, plants, and animals. Let's name them again. People, plants, and animals. Those are the living beings that you can see in the planet Earth. I want you to look at this one. Wow, that is the sun that you can see from afar. That's the color yellow there. And the one that is rotating is what you call the planet Earth. Look at what's happening there, children. The planet Earth is rotating on its own axis. It is turning on its own path. Children, you call that rotation. What do you call that? Yes. It rotates on its own axis and we call that rotation and that makes 24 hours. Meaning, it, it would start from 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock until 12 again and another 12. And those first 12 is the daytime and the next 12 is the nighttime. How important it is, children. It makes a day and night. Those places in the planets that are facing the sun would experience daytime. Those places behind the sun are experiencing nighttime. For example, in the Philippines right now, it's daytime, but in other countries, they are experiencing nighttime. That is how important the rotation is. Aside from rotating on its own axis, the planet Earth is also revolving around the sun. You know how important is it? Hey, it revolves around the sun that makes 365 days and that makes one year. That's why if you would start from there, you would take January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and then January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. One complete turn around the sun would make one year. Wow. 
So, today we have learned that the planet Earth where we are in is rotating on its own axis at the same time it revolves around the sun. Now, I have a question. Why do you think we are not feeling dizzy? We are not even moving like this. Or why is it that the water in the planet Earth are not falling down? It is because of gravity. Gravity is like a giant magnet in the middle of the Earth that pulls everything into the center. That's why we don't feel it's turning. We don't feel that it is revolving around the sun and all the water and all the people are not falling. Wow, that is how amazing God is in making the planet Earth. Let us thank God that He placed us in this planet. Now children, this is what I want you to do. I have here a picture of the planet Earth. If you have a paper there, a bond paper or whatever clean paper you have, you grab it. Make a big circle and I want you to draw the planet Earth and draw the parts of the land and water and then draw the people, plants and animals in there. And I want you to color it nicely. Can you do it? Very good. And after doing it nicely, I want you to take a picture of that work of yours. Send it. You may send it to Teacher Ira's Facebook so that I could see your work and I could post your work and so that other kids around would see it. Can you do it? Wow, I am very excited to see your work. What are you going to do again? Draw the planet Earth, draw the people, plants, and animals in there, and then color it properly. Of course, you will color the water part blue and all the land part either brown and green. And then take a picture of your work, write your name there, and then send it to the Teacher Ira Facebook page. I will be very happy to see your work. And I hope that you had learned something today. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Bye.